Hey guys, Tissue here. Welcome to Finance Freddy's 2. Alright, so there was a mini cutscene when I loaded up the game, but unfortunately that uh footage is gone. Um as I was recording, this recording did like a weird thing where like only like uh, a quarter of the frame showed up, so it was basically useless. But I'm sure if you looked it up on YouTube, uh you could find it. But anyways, uh enough about that. Um yeah, this is the second game of Finance of Freddy's. We are continuing on with the Finance of Freddy's series. And, um, you know, FNAF 2, or, uh, Finance of Freddy's 2, uh, it's, it's definitely, a de it's, hard, it's a hard game. Let's see that. Anyways, let's, let's get into it. Grand reopening, help wanted. Uh, vintage pizzeria given new life. Come be a part of the new face of Freddy Fazer's Pizza. What could go wrong? A hundred dollars and fifty a week? I mean, if you ask me, that's not really worth it. But as always, guys, while we are here, we're gonna let the phone guy talk real quick. Present whole control to use flashlight. Okay, I guess we gotta just click the light here. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello, and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh huh. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people yeah. still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you. Fastberry Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. Uh huh. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even yeah. let them walk around during the day. Oh. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Oh, Heck, wow. We should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without it kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, Dishes, we switched huh? him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, oh, wow. from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So oh, really? while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So huh. when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Okay, understandable. So have a great day. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. This so right here. every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Huh, uh, who's that one of them? And as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on, and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put hey. it on any time, and leave it on for as long as you want. Thanks, guys. In, we'll wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Okay, good. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. One guy tends to talk a long time during the first few nights, but anyways, um, first thing I want to talk about, why on earth would anyone do this job for a hundred dollars a week? <laughs> it's not even worth it, because you know you risk your life just with that amount of money. But um, yeah, guys, uh, Final Fantasy Two, huh? Seems like somebody has left the show stage. This guy right here. Let's see you. So, PC versus mobile, right? Now, when I could play Final of Freddy's, right? Basically, I had to play on mobile. And 
it, it was definitely harder for me because I had to use my fingers. You know, I got tap. Oh. Buddy. Oh my gosh. Yo, they're moving, guys. Just this guy left. But I used to have to tap everything. And if you guys can guess, 1020 mode on that mobile device on my phone, it was like almost like impossible to do. Just how difficult it was. Not saying that. And 20 mode would be any easier on the PC. Guess he must have moved somewhere, but you have this guy, right? Ah, right, there you are. But you have this guy walking around, right? And he tends to do a blackout when you put the mask on. And for those of you who are watching for the first time and you're like, yo, see the tree, what on earth is a blackout, man? Well, you're going to see in the future. And you hear that sound right now? That indicates that somebody is in the vent or is coming for us. There he is right there. Alright, so the control button on the keyboard is right beside the home button. So, we gotta make sure not to press that. But, when they're walking in the vent, you're gonna um, hear like a sort of metallic noise. Oh my gosh. Oh, my guy's in the game area. What are you doing in there? Alright, I'm gonna wind this up real quick. I don't hear anyone in the vents. Oh, somebody's moving the hallway. Who is it? Oh, shoot. Adam moving. There you are. Alright, guys. They're coming for us now. It'd be a shame if I died on the first night. You know, I just beat 420 moon. And to just come off with a loss on the bat. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold the mask down. Alright, they're gone. Oh my gosh, she's coming closer. I forgot how creepy that was. What are you looking at, man? Uh, you guys don't. If you guys don't know, that is the new Freddy Fazbear right there. His name is Toy Freddy. Now, um. The reason for them being called toys, I, I got no idea, but yeah, Toy uh, toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, and Toy Freddy are the new ones. Oh my gosh. Alright, right off the bat, huh? I was not expecting that. Alright, but there's also... Oh, there we go. First night completed. Let's go. And you guys may be wondering... What about Toy Foxy? Well, we're about to find out. If this loads right here. There we go. Alright. Let's hear what the phone guy has to say, uh, say this night. This should be interesting. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Thanks, man. Uh, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. This one. Uh, those were from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The uh -huh. idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? The smell. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, okay those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Okay. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright lights. It would call the system restart or something. Oh. Uh, come to think of it, I'm going to try that on any room where oh something my gosh. undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the frame mask will fool it. So just don't forget the music box. Forget um, the music box. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and 
All right, good night, bone guy. All right, so you guys may be wondering, see the tree? What the heck is that thing right there? See this weird radio thing right there? Um, yeah, they call they call that the mango, all right? And I was thinking bone guy would mention the mango on this night, but oh shoot, they're all they're all moving. But I would think that uh, the phone guy would have mentioned the mango, but I guess he's mentioning Wizard Foxy, who. Um, we had to shine a light on the mask won't work on him, but basically Yeah, all these newer models are gonna be showing up and uh, we gotta be careful uh, For the new guys who don't even know uh, Like what what's this all about? You know, why, why is it, where's Bonnie's head? Well, you see they're now withered. All right uh, All these guys with the poster right there. Those are the new guys right there. And as you can see, where this box is all the way down there. So just shine your light at him. Should be no problem. I mean, for me personally, I didn't shine my light at him. I sprayed my light at him. So he, he left for like a few seconds on him. Okay, they're all in the vents now, so... Gotta put a little more concentration on this light right here. You guys may be wondering, you know. Oh my gosh, what the heck? From mangoes in the hallway right there. But if you guys uh, probably noticed, when we look at the mango, they have a radio, all right? And you might be like, yo, Cedar Tree, what does that uh, radio say? And uh, to answer your question, the radio, um, it's talking about, uh, oh my gosh, it's talking about a police call, all right? And, uh, Let's say it ties to the frontal lobe as well as the bite of 87, all right? Balloon boy, I see you there. Uh, don't let that guy get to your office either because this guy steals your batteries. And, you know, since Foxy is going to be at that hallway, uh, you wouldn't want that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a different thing. On mobile, this does not happen. The wizard body kind of just shows up like that. That's a blacker right there, if you guys are wondering. Hello. Oh my gosh. Keep accidentally opening up the monitor by mistake when uh, Toy Bonnie shows up. Gotta stop doing that because in the later runs, he won't be too friendly. There you are. Alright, so at this point, I think we should be finished the night right here. So, uh, 6 a.m. if you want to show up. Uh, now's the time to do so. Meanwhile, I'm just going to keep winding up this music box. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Oh, this is the cutscene I was uh, talking about before. You start off with, uh, in this mask, Bonnie and Chica are looking in, in the, uh, they're looking in the party room, but now, look what they're looking at. They'll be looking at you. Very creepy. Oh. Third night. So this is where the withers are gonna show up now. All right. Got I hog that nose there. All right. Get to winding her book. All right. Let's let's let uh, Punga speak right here. Entertained, you know, but kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put 
Roxy back together in this every ship. Eventually oh. they just stopped trying and left them in some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to eat your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can yeah. personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh -huh. uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Oh, great. So, there's so, oh my gosh. Yeah, as you can see, they're moving now. So it's gonna get a lot more difficult in, in the later nights. But as you can tell in that phone call, they're talking about an investigation. And, um, you know, we're gonna learn more about this investigation in the future. But yeah, now you guys are aware. Okay, so I usually like to shine Foxy in the eye right there and you'll flash him but in those later nights we won't be able to but as of right now we can i should probably get to the habit of uh putting my mask down uh that's just gonna save us a lot more time because these uh withers you know like with bonnie they're not gonna show up in the vent nor are they gonna like give you like a warning they're just gonna like show up like that so we have to be careful for that but um oh my gosh it's coming in again during those later nights this would be some good it would be like a good technique to just put down a mask as soon as you finish that monitor alright well, I'm gonna focus a little more. I feel like I've been rambling. So, uh, see you guys if something goes down. Alright, guys. It'll be 5 a.m. now. Alright, so. This is definitely. Uh, it's not intense, I would say, but. Things are definitely starting to pick up here. But, starting from. Oh my gosh. I gotta be there but starting from uh, the fourth night things are gonna be a bit more uh, freakish to say the least all right as you can see boy with his Freddy he's in the uh, office right there I never realized how tall this guy was though until just now like this guy he's like the size of this roof over here but um we should we finish this night. Yes. All right. 6 a.m. Yeah! Perfect. Now we should get a bit of a cutscene right here. There we go. All right. Let's see this. Oh, yikes. That's not a good sign. Oh, who might you be? Oh, boy. This isn't good at all. Uh oh. Oh boy. As you can see, we're gonna leave it off on the fourth night. Uh, thank you all for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.